Assalamualaikum and very good morning to my lovely panel uh, at Faculty of Environmental Studies, uh, University Putra Malaysia. Alright, my name is Muhammad Nukman Hakim bin Muhammad. My metric number is one nine one eight seven four, and uh, my supervisor name is Dr Kairuniza Muhammad. Alright, so today I'm going to do the presentation for my proposal, my research proposal of bachelor dissertation ESC 4959A okay so uh, for my uh, research title is the determination of dissolved copper 2 in seawater at Redang Island Terengganu okay so let's proceed to the introduction okay so this is uh, the outline uh, for the first part okay so for the background study okay uh, so why copper Mm, uh, actually, uh, because copper is frequently found from both natural and anthropogenic sources And for instance, in coastal environment, uh, natu uh, the natural concentration of copper too are very low uh, But they are de increasing due to human industrialization okay. And then, uh, previously, uh, the dissolved trace metal in seawater sample were conducted by Adiana during 2014 and Gordon and Mohamed during 2000 in, uh, 2016 in Peninsula Malaysia in the coastal uh, coastal area at Peninsula Malaysia so uh, where their result indicate comparable concentration of dissolved trace metal with effects from the North A monsoon in the coastal region of Terengganu okay so actually um, this information show that monsoon phenomenon does affect the concentration of trace element in seawater and might as well could affect the presence of free copric ion uh, Cu2 plus in seawater due to the changing of physical chemical of water column during both monsoon season okay so next for the problem statement okay in my research um the problem statement is um, there are very few speciation research and studies on biogeochemistry of marine environment in Malaysia. And then um, the, our major concern about is the monsoon is that it could change the physical chemical parameter and influence the speciation of trace metal. So these changes will have an effect on the trace metal biogeochemistry process which is heavily affected by its chemical speciation which is uh, stated by Glad Hill uh, 2015 so uh, these changes may also influence the presence of copper 2 in the water column uh, so, right so next is for uh, my significant of study is um, there are three uh, which is uh, first the data obtained can be used uh, to compare the concentration of uh, dissolved free copric ion from pre-monsoon and post-monsoon. And next, uh, by gaining the data, uh, we can compare the distribution of free copric ion between two seasons, between two seasons along with physical chemical data. And it could enhance our understanding the possible effect of not a monsoon on toxicity level uh, at coastal water mm -mm. so lastly uh, this uh, this research uh, I hope this research will contribute to a new kind of data speciation that is needed in explaining a trace metal biogeochemistry cycle in marine system mm -mm. okay so next for my research gap so I choose uh, SWOT analysis uh, for my research gap which is the strength the weakness opportunities and threat in my research so uh, the strength in my research is um, I observe that uh, our instrumental instruments tools for sample and data analysis is in a very good condition and available to use uh, in our faculty uh, for the witness in this research um, there is not many local researchers paper or journal to use as a reference in this study uh, I don't say that uh, no one doing a related research about this one but there are very few uh, research uh, contributing uh, 
involving uh, the coastal environment in Malaysia. Okay, next, the opportunities. So, um, uh, my research, uh, our, our research contribute to a new data specialization that is needed in explaining a trace metal biogeochemistry cycle in many system. And lastly, the threat in this research, uh, it might be exposed, uh, we might be exposed to harmful chemical such as mercury during doing the trace metal analysis by using the voltammetry method, which is by using the metro model VA797 because we are using the mercury. So it's a very harmful chemical. All right. So next, uh, the research objective. So I've got uh, three research objectives in this research, which is first one, uh, to determine the physical chemical parameter of water column at Redang Island during pre-monsoon and post-monsoon seasons. Uh, second, to identify the possible factor that influence the distribution of free copper 2 in Malaysia coastal water. And lastly, uh, to determine the dissolved copper and its speciation in seawater sample collected at Redang Island, Terengganu during pre-monsoon and post-monsoon season. Okay, let's proceed. <laughs> so, for the research question, firstly, what is water physical chemical condition during both season? Which is, it will answer um, by the first objective, the first research objective. And next, what is the concentration of free copper 2 in the seawater during uh, pre-monsoon and post-monsoon season at Redang Island, Terengganu? And lastly, the research question uh, is, what is the possible factor influence the distribution of free, of dissolved free copper 2 at Malaysia coastal water? Okay. So, this is my literature review. Uh, actually, uh, it got a lot, um, but I only stated uh, these, these seeds uh, due to the space area. Okay, so uh, the yellow one, I highlighted because uh, there are two uh, type of literature review, which is the first one is the importance of uh, copper in the our seawater. And second is the uh, the competitive ligand exchange absorptive uh, catalytic striping voltammetry, which is, uh, uh, which is, uh, we simplify by, uh, call it uh, CLEADCSV. All right. So, uh, first one, um, uh, Maldonado 2006 and Yebra 2004 states that uh, even though copper 2 is important as a micronutrient uh, for the biochemistry of seawater, uh, copper 2 also well uh, known for its toxicant properties more than a nutrient. Mm. And then next, uh, in seawater, there are more than 99.8% of dissolved copper 2 uh, bind to organic compound which decreased the value far more than thousandfold that re those result to biologically, biologically unavailable, which is stated by Jaquay and Moffat 2015 and Gordon 2018. Right, so lastly, Gordon and Mohammed 2014 studies suggested that the rising of dissolved metal concentration during post monsoon was the result of rapid mixing and strong turbulence of water current during the season. And next one, for the competitive uh, ligand exchange exotive catalytic striping voltammetry method uh, has proven to be crucial methodology in understanding the key role uh, to organic matter plays in the regulation of the copper biogeochemical bio bio cycle in aquatic ecosystem, uh, which is stated by Lagrela L and Fela M. Uh, they also state that since the process involves equilibrium between all of the solution constituent before measurement are made, correct knowledge of the kinetic of the ligand exchange occurring is essential. And lastly, based on Gordon and Mohammed 2019, recently, they used the salic, salis, um, saliladosim uh, SA as a competitive ligand which competitively equilibrate with inorganic and organic copper two species in ambient seawater. Alright, so next, uh, we should proceed to the methodology. Okay, alright, so for the field sampling, um, where are our sample came from? It came from the Redang Island. Uh, actually, um, this research is to determine a concentration of copper 2 in seawater 
is more focused on the eastern side of the peninsula Malaysia uh, and Pulau Redang was chosen, was chosen as a sampling site. And Pulau Redang lies in Terengganu province. Uh, Redang appears to have a tropical climate uh, with temperature near to 30 degrees Celsius uh, and periodic but brief thunderstorm. And as the rest of the eastern coast of Malaysia, Redang is affected also affected by the South China Sea, not, not East Monsoon. Okay, so this is our field sampling lah, field sampling area. And then for the sampling and sample preparation, okay, so um, actually our water, seawater sample uh, already collected during, the, during April and October 2019, um, last year. Uh, so actually in my research, uh, we are using the seawater sample from the last year because recently uh, uh, during the uh, COVID-19, uh, pandemic COVID-19 so uh, we cannot uh, go to the, we cannot go to our new uh, research area, sample area which is uh, Pulau Tioman uh, so we just uh, using the Redang Island uh, seawater sample uh, as the backup, uh, as the replacement due to the pandemic COVID-19 and apa tu? Mm, time uh, uh, very short time all right so uh, a few stations uh, were specifically chosen for seawater profile which is from 3 meter to 30 meter depths and uh, we are sam uh, the sample uh, took by using the vandom water sampler uh, as you can see on the middle one the figure and then the in situ parameter for each sample was recorded by using the multi probe YSI, uh, which is uh, the first figure on your left. And then, um, this after we took the seawater sample, seawater filtration procedure was carried out through 0 0.45 micro M Wattman glass microfiber 25 uh, millimeter diameter fitted with a peristaltic pump. All right. And then, apparatus and equipment used such as low density polyethylene LDPE and polytetrafluoroethylene PTFE sample bottle Nalgene were cleaned according to standard protocol. And lastly, the sample for dissolved copper and speciation analysis were immediately stored at 4 degrees Celsius for subsequent analysis in PTFE bottle. Okay, and then proceed for the next one is for our data analysis. So for our data analysis, uh, we are using the Metro Model VA797 automated hanging mercury drop electrode HDMI was used throughout the analysis. Uh, so this is um, we are using the voltammetry method, but by using this uh, by using this machine, the Metro Model VA797, right? So the reference electrode was. Um, Silver or silver chloride, saturated silver chlor chloride, 1.0 M, potassium chloride, and a platinum wire as the counter electrode. And then the drop surface area of HDMI was 0 0.45 mm square. And a rotating PTFE rod was used to steer the solution during the deposition step. And lastly, after we uh, using the pro uh, following the procedure. Uh, we scan produce uh, scans produced during complexion ligand determination were transferred to a computer by using the serialing and evaluation of peak heights were carried out using a software program, which is the VA seven nine seven Compute Trace. Okay, so expected outcome and research milestone. So for expected outcome, what will you expect at the end of your, of your study? So we are expecting to gain the data for in situ parameter. Uh, which is the temperature, pressure, dissolved oxygen, conductivity, total dissolved solid, salinity, and pH of our seawater sample between both seasons. Um, besides that, we will gain the data for concentration of dissolved free copper 2 at Redang Island. So, what are the anticipated outcome? All right. So, the data obtained uh, we can uh, can be used to compare the pre monsoon and post monsoon uh, concentration of dissolved free copper 2. And by using this data obtained, we will justify the possible factor that influence free copper 2 distribution at coastal water. 
So this is my conceptual framework. So actually the conceptual framework uh, is on the beginning of this research. Uh, so actually it's briefly um, the summary of uh, the research proposal. Okay, next. So this is the research milestone. So uh, how about the activity? So stage one until stage three on this April already done. So for the stage four, we uh, we will start the sample analysis on inshallah by June by June two thousand twenty. Uh, but if the pandemic uh, if the pandemic um, pandemic situation is still extending, the PKP is still extending. So the 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 sample analysis might be postponed to another two weeks. Mm -hmm. So and then stage five is the determination of concentration of dissolved trace metal will be on September, and the data analysis uh, will be on October, uh, this October, and stage seven differentiate pre and post monsoon result will be uh, undergoes uh, same with the data analysis. Mm. And then on stage eight, uh, the writing for thesis report will begin, and inshallah on January the submission of full report uh, will be submitted, inshallah. <laughs> okay, uh, right. So uh, down is the uh, this uh, briefing uh, summary of the milestone. Uh. Okay, so this is total reference uh, for this pro for this research proposal that I found. Uh, okay, inshallah, it will add more on during the thesis process. Inshallah. Okay, okay. I think that's all from me. That's all for. Okay, I think that's all from me. Uh, that's all for my uh, research proposal presentation. Okay, thank you so much. Uh, to my panel, and I would like to apologize. Uh, I, I would like to apologize. Uh, too, and. Okay, so that's all. Uh, thank you so much. Okay, so for my lecturer and my friend, stay at home, stay safe, and hapus COVID-19. I hope uh, this pandemic will be over soon, and the PKP also will be over soon. So we, everyone will work uh, as a normal uh, together. Alright? Okay, that's all from me. Alright, thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.